everyone. Today for Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb, we're going to be working on a cupcake project that is inspired by Wayne Fable. He is our Artist of the Week and we're going to be focusing on his projects. Wayne Thaybaud is an American painter who is known most for painting his desserts such as cakes, pies, cupcakes, also milkshakes, cups of coffee, and many other drinks and foods. These are some of the projects that we're going to use as inspiration for today's projects. So we're going to start with a white sheet of paper. We're also going to need paint and you can include paint of any color as well as a cup of water and a paintbrush. Make sure your paper is turned horizontally, grab something to write with and we're going to begin by drawing the bottom of our cupcakes. Repeat this step for how many cupcakes you would like to have. Next, after you complete that, you're going to draw lines from top to bottom. This is going to represent the ripples in the cupcake holder. Repeat that step for your other cupcake. After this, you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to paint every other line a different color. So first we're going to start with blue, we're going to do one line, skip over another, and then the next line you're going to paint blue, just like this in a pattern. Once you finish with your color, you're going to pick a different color and fill in the rest of the lines that are not painted yet. When you complete this cupcake holder, you can go ahead and move on to the next. You're going to create the same pattern, just using different colors. And they should look like this once we're done that part. Next, we're going to work on the icing. So go ahead and take a cotton ball and dip into the paint that you would like your icing to be and begin dabbing them onto the paper. You want to start toward the bottom of your cupcake holder and make your way up as it gets pointier. To make this look even cooler, you're going to take another layer of paint and you're going to dab in a diagonal motion. This will make it look a little bit more 3D and make it look a little bit more like a Wayne Fayball piece. Once you complete the first one, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the second one, a diagonal motion going around your cupcake. And there you have it. Next we're going to work on the table in the background. Pick a color and you're going to draw a line across the paper behind your cupcakes. Once you draw this line, you can go ahead and begin coloring it in. The cool thing about Wayne Thayball's projects is that when he colors in a background or a table, he doesn't completely paint it a solid color. You can see the motion in his paint strokes. So when you color, make sure you're coloring in that same style.
There you have your Wayne Thibault inspired cupcakes. Very cool. Great job today guys. I will see you tomorrow for Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb.